Hey there, fellow divers and ocean enthusiasts. This is Ocean Pictures, and I'm doing my first sponsored unboxing video. The folks at Divevoke contacted me and were kind enough to send me their underwater housing for review. And the concept they have is an intriguing one. I am excited to try out their product and I will be sure to remain critical in my assessment and discuss the important pros and cons behind their design. Let's dive right in. This is my first time opening the packaging for the Sea Touch 3 Pro underwater smartphone housing by Divevoke. It comes in two boxes, the large box containing the housing itself and a slightly smaller box which I will open up a little bit later. The Sea Touch 3 Pro comes with this protection cover that warns you to make sure your phone doesn't have any removable screen casings on it. The manual says this is to ensure your phone doesn't get stuck in the housing and this prevents damage to the C-Touch screen membrane. My first impressions of the housing is that it is lightweight, surprisingly so actually. It appears to be mostly made out of high quality polymer plastic with several aluminum parts here and there. And the most interesting feature is this front touch screen, which I am excited to try to use underwater. The packaging comes with several accessory items, including this quick start guide written in multiple languages and a very detailed manual, which is actually written in six languages, including English, French, and even Italian. The remaining accessories include the always essential wrist strap, so you don't drop the housing into some unknown abyss, a microfiber cloth for cleaning the lens, seriously, wrist straps, they're very important, some dive bulk stickers for corporate marketing reasons, I assume, a couple of highly custom extra waterproofing gaskets, and this plastic thing, which I really don't know what it is used for, and I am likely to lose it fairly quickly. I hope it's not important. Let me just organize myself a little bit here so we can get back to reviewing the Sea Touch 3 Pro underwater smartphone housing by Divebook, where I'll jump into all of its features. Let's start with what's inside the mysterious second box, which comes included with the housing. These are the smartphone adapters, which are needed to allow the touch screen to work properly underwater. I ordered one for my Samsung Galaxy S7 and my Samsung Galaxy S21. They look to be easy to 3D print, so I hope Divevoke provides a library of 3D STL files for us to download so we can print these at home if we ever want to upgrade our phone model. After all, the goal of a product like this one is to be as useful as possible for the end user. At the moment, I am not sure if you have to purchase new smartphone adapters if you change your phone model. In any case, my phone sits inside the S7 adapter like this, and the fit is slightly snug, but you have to be careful because your phone can still fall out of the smartphone adapter. Let's see how the housing really works. First you have to unscrew the access port. I was worried at first because the two screws look like they could become easily lost, but to my pleasant surprise, they cannot actually be fully removed which was a great design decision. Next, you open the access port and remove the inner support block, which works to prevent the touch screen membrane from becoming crushed while you are handling it on the surface. And this is what the inside of the housing looks like. The warnings say the housing should never be used underwater while it is empty. This is because the water pressure will damage the touch screen membrane unless there's something like your phone or the included support block to prevent it from overstretching. The membrane is a soft, flexible membrane and the manual says its lifespan is about 100,000 uses. The housing waterproof standard is IPX8, and it is capable of accommodating phones that are 165 millimeters in length by 78 millimeters in width by 8.9 millimeters in thickness. The exciting part about this housing is that it allows for full functionality of your phone while underwater, including all of your apps. I wonder if I can try to make a phone call or send a text while underwater. And above all else, I love that I can access and control the pro mode of my native camera app and pretty well all features of any camera app I choose to download. So I can change settings like white balance, ISO, aperture, manual or autofocus and exposure. I can access the panorama mode, the time lapse mode or change video and photo resolutions. I can preview my images. I can even delete them or change where they are saved all underwater. The manual says the touch screen is sensitive up to 40 meters and can work as deep as 80 meters underwater with full functionality and I'm excited to try it out. Maybe I can even watch some videos. The opportunity here is endless. But there are a couple of things I don't like. 
The smartphone inserts should always be black to reduce the potential for glare bouncing off of the camera port glass, which could ruin your photo. And at the moment, there's no way to mount the housing to a tripod. I also wish the housing had at least some kind of mounting solution for macro lenses, as well as for external lights, since underwater lighting is absolutely crucial to get good shots. Overall, I am excited to try this thing underwater, and at the moment, I will give it a 4 out of 5 stars. So Divevoke, you have a little bit of room to improve your product and to absolutely make it perfect, but I am grateful for the housing you have sent me and for the opportunity to review it. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Also, don't forget to hit that bell, and thanks for watching.